long time no see girl oh my gosh um welcome to this weekend vlog if you're new here i'm siobhan pronounce like the material and if you're not new here welcome back girl so it is friday evening well it's, it's like six it's 6 57 and the sun's still out that is really really good um yeah i just got done getting my nails done there's like some dust on my nose <laughs> But I got my nails done. I just got the classic um, French, you know. Like, I've been feeling really, really simple with my nails. And I was like, oh, let me just get a French, so. Yeah, they look cute. And I got them shorter. So, yeah, I'm about to um, leave here because I'm done now. But, yeah, I just wanted to welcome this vlogging vlog. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching my other vlogs, y'all. Uh, like this month so it's the end of the se uh, semester um if you're new here i am a professor at a pharmacy school and um i don't yeah so it's the end of the semester so wrapping that stuff up and then talking about the fall semester already and just like changes so i have something that there's a big change like some my life is changing <laughs> My life is changing and, um, yeah, so my life is changing and just with all of that and, you know, when you, uh, your life changes in certain ways, it's like, could be overwhelming. So I'm going to share with y'all soon. Don't worry about it now, but I'm going to share with y'all soon <laughs> if, if anybody cares. What can I get for you? Hi, can I have a grande passion iced tea unsweetened? Yes, can I have three pumps of sugar-free vanilla in that, please? Okay. And can I also have two Splendas in that? Okay, I need them all. Um, yes, on the side, can I have a, like a small side of heavy cream? Mm -hmm. And that's all. Okay, you can pour it on, thank you. Thank you. Let me go ahead and make my drink. They filled it way to the top, so I kind of don't have no room for the Splenda. So let me just sip some, I mean, the cream. That was awkward. <laughs> okay. Ooh, yeah. I mix it in there. I just like adding my own um, cream because sometimes people overdo it. Like this is the color I like it to look. Maybe I'll add a little bit more. Okay, this is the color I like it to look. Like that pink, like like that, like Pepto-Bismol. But sometimes people put a lot in there and it looks like basically white. So that's why I wanted to, wanted, wanted to put it in there myself. But yeah, girl, I'm happy it's the weekend. I gotta go home and wash my hair. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. I'm about to do this mask. So this is the Tatcha Luminous Deep Hydration Lifting Mask. I love this mask a lot. Is this what it looks like? I love Tatcha products, I feel like they really work for real and when they do like this serum stuff it's always like an excess of liquid let me get a do I have a washcloth okay I'm back because it um like there'll be drippings and stuff like that and I want to like wipe it up. 
Okay, so it is Saturday later in the afternoon. Just got off the shower, so I went to um, Pilates this morning and did some stuff. Now, I'm gonna do this mask. So, every time I do mask, like I hold my breath, and I have no idea why I like, um, like as I'm putting it over my, my face, I hold my breath in. I don't know, maybe I'm afraid that I'll inhale something. I don't know. Oh, uh. So you take one of the nets off and then it's like a gel. Here I go. <gasps> Okay, now I can breathe. It's like, it's a gel. Um, like a jelly texture mask. And then you peel the other side of the net off. And then you smooth it everywhere. I feel like my skin is burnt, visually like hydrated and like plump and just so smooth so it's called a hydrating lifting mask so it feels like i feel like it moisturizes a lot and just plumps up the skin and it feels good um and i have dry sensitive eczema prone skin but y'all knew that because i see it in every video i think but i like to say it because i know there are people who have this similar you know, skin type as me. And I know the feeling of being scared to try certain things because like, you just don't want to have a flare up. So, um, or like when I used to watch videos, I used to be like, um, would that work for me? Like I have really dry, not just dry skin, but I have eczema prone skin and it's very sensitive. So will that work for me? So that's why I like kind of say it just for those people who are like and wondering like, will that work for me or something like that? And of course, things that work for my skin won't work for everybody because all of our allergens are different. Like our eczema triggers could be different. Like mine's is like strong fragrances. So fragrances and lately, lately dust like i don't know if y'all noticed but in my move in my last videos like i've been like going like this and it's like i visually can't see the dust but i feel it and it's really like it's, it's like irritating me and so lately i've been wearing masks more because i felt like I don't know, I just feel better when I wear masks because it just doesn't have dust around me. <laughs> and one of my um, colleagues has a cat that I'm particularly allergic to because they just got it and I like started sneezing around them and I'm like, what the heck? And I'm like, or my asthma water. I'm like, what the heck? And she's like, oh, I just got a cat, blah, blah, You know, that situation. And I was like, oh. So, yeah, but anywho, but when I put my mask on, I feel so much better, like, ugh so much better so anywho i just got off the shower that's why i still got this on so while i have this mask on i'm actually going to straighten my hair so i washed my hair yesterday like my natural hair and my extensions and then i put a um i braided my hair and then put so the the wig on. Ooh, I got my coffee here. <laughs> I'll keep this on for about 15 minutes. But yeah. Do I wanna wait till after I do the mask to do my hair? I don't know. But anywho, y'all. So let me tell y'all something. So yesterday 
I guess I made, I was just telling y'all how, like I told y'all I had something to say. This, or the transition, basically I'm getting a new, um, I'm switching apartments. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Um, and I'm looking at apartments and I'm like, they are like pretty, I feel like they're getting more and more expensive. And I'm just like, what the heck? Um, and especially like I want certain things, like I really want like a walk-in closet or not, it doesn't even have to be a walk-in closet, but I, um, you know how in closet, it just has one little like hanging rod. I at least, I at least need like three of them. So even if the closet is not like you can't walk into it, at least it has like one rod here and maybe like two smaller rods um, coming out. And that's because I don't have a lot of drawers. Like I have this one drawer from Ikea or dresser from Ikea. And that like houses my pajamas, workout clothes, and like, you know, undergarments and stuff. And I also put my um, towels in there too like linen yeah like bed linen and stuff like that because I don't have a lot of chemistry now and I don't actually don't really care that much for cabinetry I don't know I just want an apartment that's like very simple minimalistic less stuff to clean less stuff for dust to fall on top of because like it's just my allergies like I just think about that like the less stuff I have <laughs> like the less I have to clean and get the dust off but yeah, so I'm hoping to to find a place that has a decent closet and I really want something that has nice lighting. So big windows, like how my um, wall is over there. And then like these windows here are pretty tall as well. They're not all the way to the bottom of the floor, but they're still pretty tall. And, they, and where my apartment is faced, I was about to say east or west or like, I, I, I don't even want to play y'all like that. I don't even know what direction this is. But it's basically when the sun is not, I can't see the sunrise, but I see it when it's in the middle. So I think the sun rise in the east and sets in the west. Rise in the west. So, no, that don't sound right. So rise in the east, set in the west. So I feel like my apartment is north facing because I don't see the sun rise and I don't see the sun set so I'm probably facing north or south because I'm in the middle so yeah y'all see who got an A in ge a geography class <laughs> no I don't even know what I got in that class but I do know I struggle is geography still a class um I wonder high school today's anywho um yeah, I want an apartment where I'm able to get a lot, a lot of sunlight. Cause you already know, like I'm already not getting that much sun. My vitamin D is low. Let me pull it out so I can remember to take it. Um. So yeah, I just do Nature's Mate. Like this is USP certified. This is the brand. It says, it actually says on here, number one pharmacist recommended. So I'm a pharmacist, so I guess this is the truth. So I use it. I like um, their brand. So yeah, I definitely need some sun and walk-in closet. Walk-in or at least just something that has more than one rod. I'll be fine with that. Um, and I feel like that's kind of it really. I don't really have too many other demands. Like but the thing is, I feel like a lot of apartments, they price their apartments based off of those demands. Like if you want a big closet and a lot of like windows, the, that comes with the price. Besides someone who maybe want like, I don't know, they need like a um, walk-in shower and a bathtub and they want a whole bunch of storage in the bathroom. like. Those things I feel like apartments don't, I don't know, ask a real, let me, I'm going to ask my friend because she's a, a real estate agent.
y'all can probably see I'm having an eczema flare up on my hands right now because I've been constantly washing, washing my hands without applying lotion and I should be doing that so that's what my eczema looks like when I break out But as soon as I start putting lotion on, it goes away. So I can't be doing that. It's it's because I work when I go to clinic, not when I'm at home, because I have soap that's good for my skin at home. But at work, the soap is like kind of harsh. Hey y'all, I'm back. So I'm getting ready to head out the house to go to dinner with some friends to celebrate some things. So I gotta figure out my scent. I still haven't been able to get a new spring scent yet. I haven't been to Sephora because I wanna smell the scents before buying them, you know. So I'm gonna do a combo. So I'm gonna use the uh, Madagascar Nest scent. Can y'all see that? I like this scent. Mmm, and it doesn't stain, well, it hasn't stained my clothes at all, and I haven't had, like, a reaction to it, so I'm gonna keep wearing it. And then, this may be an odd pairing, but I'm going to pair with the Joe Malone Cherry Blossom, because this is a nice spring scent, but it's missing the vanilla -y scent that I like in all of my scents, so that's why I'm mixing it with the Nest. Ooh. Oh gosh. Okay. Mm. All right. So that is my scent. My outfit. I look real tall right now because I got my Miso platform sandals on. I just did a review of them. These are from Lorade. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. But anyway, you know, so I have this bodysuit on from, or this jumper, bodysuit jumper, um, from uh, Naked Wardrobe. I got these like a really, really long time ago. So yeah, it's long sleeve, um, it's pants. And then... I'm gonna wear my Amazon bag because this is a pretty chill now night. Amazon bag, and then I have my Lorade. I actually try to write out the pronunciation. La La Rude. La Rude. Hopefully, I said that on a video. Please forgive me if I didn't. But it'll probably be up before this. So go watch it if you didn't. But yeah, I have those shoes on. Eee! So yeah, just a simple outfit. Something to throw on really quick. Just with this one piece, like, you know, easy to put on. I don't have any lashes on today. Just the mascara. I got the Fenty mascara on. It's good. <sighs> All right. Let's get this night going. <laughs> Like they're just doing the best thing. So I just got back home from dinner. Dinner was fun, hanging out with my friends, and then the food was okay. First of all, our reservation was for 8:30, and we didn't even sit down to eat to 9:21. So yeah. Anywho, uh, my friends got me this wine. These wines I've never tasted before. So Stella Rose. Blueberry, and this one is the Moscato. Ooh, y'all slatting. Sorry, <laughs> but it looks very cute. So I'll put it in here. I got these um these wine things.
Can y'all see them? They're like, can y'all see? Yeah, y'all can see them. Like wine holders. Wine shelves, I think that's what it's called. Then they got me some treats too. Crumble cookie, y'all. Y'all know when I first tried home crumble cookie, I got all four cookies. And it was just like, I don't even know why I did that. Should have just got one. But my friend got me all four. So these are the flavors. I don't know what they are, but one of them smells like peanut butter. I'm pretty sure it's this one right here. Um, I think this pink one is their classic one they have all the time. That one seems like it'll be really, really good. That's caramel one there, I'm thinking. This is a chocolate. I feel like this may be like a chocolate peanut butter, but I'm going to listen. I tried to eat like all, <laughs> There's, it's impossible to eat all these cookies. Um, even just to take a scoop of each one, just to try it, is just too much. But I think I'm gonna eat one tonight. I think I'm probably gonna do this one, or at least half of it. And I have frozen them before, so um, I've done that. I put them in the freezer, and I feel like um, it lasted me for a while because I would take one cookie out, like once a week or something like that it lasts me for a while so yeah i put it in the freezer and then took them out and thawed them and then put them in the oven and it was fine then my other friend she bought me these cupcakes they know i love dessert and i'm trying to not like you know go crazy but there's these cute cupcakes and they have churros oops oopsies they have um churros on top so I got dessert for days so I think I'm going to freeze some of these cookies and just eat the other one <sighs> I'm tired y'all and it's like it's 11 22 so it's kind of early like it's late but then like it's still early to the point for me to be this tired but um, I'm not good. I'm gonna go to bed. But yeah, I think my makeup looks pretty good. The lighting is not that great out here in the kitchen. But yeah, we were just talking about how crazy it is. It's like so overwhelming and challenging to find an apartment nowadays because it's like all the places you want. Somebody's already living in there because it's a good idea. <laughs> like, it's a good idea. Like, it's a nice apartment. So, obviously, somebody's going to be in there already. So, oh, that's challenging. And it's like, apartments are starting to get smaller and smaller, but cost more and more. And it's like, oh, I have my two sofas, like the Utopia sofas, and I want to sell one of them because I feel like the place that I may end up moving to having two sofas that just won't fit so I'm like okay maybe I should sell one of them but the utopia sofas have gone up so much in price like right now they're on a website for $13.95 I feel like when I bought it it was 900 and something so obviously they're popular I um had sent a message out saying um, to like um, friends that I'm selling this sofa for like, you know, if anybody's looking for a sofa, I know like incoming medical and pharmacy residents who are coming from other areas, they may be looking for, you know, furniture. So I'll give them this sofa. I'll give them a real good price on it too. Cause I'm not trying to get rich off of it. I'm honestly just trying to get like, rid of it because I know like I probably won't take it with me and it'll probably just be too much of a hassle to take it anyways I, I need to figure out how I'm going to get that whole moving thing and stuff like that but anyways I'm going to bed y'all good night I love you hi y'all happy Sunday so I'm in a car again I am about to go into the seamstress 
shop because the same dress that I always use. Um, I got this dress that I want to wear for my co-resident's wedding. Oh, my pride co-resident. Y'all know residency is behind me now. <laughs> um, so she's going to marry in the Dominican Republic. I'm so excited for her. We're going to have so much fun. So I got this dress from this company called Pepper Mayo. It's the first time I ordered from them. It's literally Pepper Mayo. It's like a simple, just simple gown. Um, it's the color uh, that she liked. So, um, cause I think it's like, um, like a theme. Um, so I'm just, I'm just doing what I was told. I said, this is the color. I told her, this is the dress I'm getting. She said, that's fine. So this is the dress I'm wearing. And it's so cute. Um, I just need the sleeve shortened, like, like the, this, like this part. I need to go up here like that. Of course, it's not going to look like that on me. I just wanted to show y'all. But it's just really simple. And I'm excited to wear it. So it already fits really nice on me. So I just need the sleeves pulled up and that should be good. But yeah, I'm about to go in and do what I need to do. Hey y'all, I'm back home now. I had went to the grocery store just to grab a few things I needed because um, this is my weekend to actually do a full grocery shopping like thing um, because I go every two weeks. But I plan to travel, so um, I didn't do like a full grocery thing. I just picked up a little bit of stuff that will last me a couple of days. So. Um, I got some cars because I know Mother Day is coming soon. So I'm going, I got some, a Mother Day's car. Yeah. And then some um, birthday cars because a few birthdays are coming up. So I'm like, I'm already here. Let me just buy the cards now so I won't forget. And then this haul ain't exciting y'all, but <laughs> I got Ziploc bags because um, I want to put the cookies that I got from Crumble Cookies. I'm going to put them in here and put them in the freezer. Um, then I got this Swiffer Sweeper Solution. So I got the the Wet Jet. And um, Jack and I actually did a video of the new Swiffer. I don't know if that's out just yet, but like I kind of want it now. Then the food I got... Shredded lettuce. I'm obsessed with this lettuce. I'm obsessed with iceberg lettuce and I'm obsessed with shredded iceberg lettuce for my um, taco salads. Like salads in Mexican food are my favorite like foods. So taco salad, I eat them often. So yeah. It's so funny because I got a comment on my video. Shout out to you. I got a comment like, I don't think I've ever seen you cook on like my vlogs. And it's because I don't really cook like that. Like I cook, but like to survive, I'm not like a chef. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't like, I, you know, I wouldn't even say I like to cook. I cook because I have to. If there was a way for food to always be ready for me when I get home, like I would be happy. So, yeah. And then I got my usual treats. So my Quest cookies, um, peanut butter. And then Quest came out with these new things. Well, I don't know if they're new, but they're new to me. Quest mini peanut butter cups. Um, so if you're not familiar with Quest, it's just like a brand that makes low sugar snacks, like chips and um, like, can little candies, cookies, stuff like that. I really like them. Um, I don't have like a bad feeling after eating them because they do use an alternative sugar in here, and but it doesn't make me feel bad. So I'm gonna try these. Hopefully they're good. Then I got some almonds because I like almonds. <laughs> and then I also got these um, 
the Celsius because I know it's going to be a very busy week. So it's been really busy because because it's the end of the semester. And like with gradings, uh, we're about to have our fourth years graduate. They're going to be full blown pharmacists after they take the boards. So it's just been, you know, busy. I'm going to, we're going to do our board review week. So I have to finish up my lecture um, today, actually. So I'm going to do that this afternoon. So I got the Celsius. I actually prefer the Celsius that don't have like the sparkling in it but that's all they had at the store, so that's what I got. I got the mango passion fruit. Doesn't that sound good? And then this one is the um, sparkling star fruit pineapple. I may actually, I wouldn't say I'm allergic to pineapple, but like if I had too much pineapple, I feel like my tongue gets itchy, but I had that one before and it was fine. Um, and then, a sparkling grape brush because I like grapes. <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh, another thing I got um, Gold Bond Healing Hydration Cream to go on my back because, as y'all can see, my um, eczema is going crazy, y'all, and that's my fault because even throughout the day, I forgot to bring lotion in my bag. With me, so I was like hand sanitizing, wiping my hands, washing them without putting lotion on after doing that. <sighs> so like, yeah, I need to do better. But yeah, mm -hmm. that's my haul, girl. Yeah, I'm sitting here watching um the new season of Bridgerton, the about Queen Charlotte. Oh my gosh, I'm really over here crying. This is a good show. Like, this is good. I highly recommend watching it. I'm on the last episode. So, dang. I wish there was more episodes. But it's good, y'all. It's good. Hey, y'all. <laughs> it is Wednesday. Oh, my goodness. Uh, it's been a crazy, busy week. I feel like lately my weekend vlogs have been turning into, like, weekly. week. It, my, my weekend vlogs have been turning into, like, Weekend half the week vlogs. <laughs> um, doing uh, caramel. So I'm getting ready to go to campus today. I'm doing my board review. Oh, let me make sure I pack my iPad. <laughs> I really enjoy lecturing on my iPad because I'm able to like move around the room and stuff. Ugh. So yeah. Um why this I don't like the way this look inside. Okay, I'm back. So, this week is a board week for our four years, and we're doing like board review. And today I'm doing um, pulmonary, so asthma, COPD. Yeah, and then there's just there's just a lot of stuff going on on campus. Um, like when people be like oh the semester over is chill like no it's not chill so stuff is still happening i'm going to sweeten it with the sugar-free vanilla syrup this would it look like it's from tarani so yeah um it's been a lot going on, trying to do a lot. And then I'm also about to travel. So it's like, I'm trying to make sure all the things that I wanted to do this week get done. Oh, my skin looks pretty good. Mm, yay. I'm trying to make sure all the things I wanted to get done, get done before I leave. Because I want to come back. Like I like coming back to, I'm going to pour the coffee in first. 
I like to come back to, I, I want to say a clean slate, but I like, when I come back from traveling, I want it to be clean, my house to be clean, and then also like, I don't want to be overwhelmed from stuff at work. So, yeah. I just put a little bit of half a half in there, and now I'm going to do a little bit of um, almond milk, the unsweetened kind. So, this is what it looks like. And it says unsweetened vanilla. So, yeah. And I also got good news, y'all. I'm so excited. So, my seamstress, she was able to finish my dress in time. So, I'm going to go pick it up today. Like, I'm about to go pick it up now before I drive to campus. And whew, it's gonna be a busy day because my flight leaves 5 a.m. tomorrow. Ugh. 5 a.m. tomorrow. So. So I'm gonna be up all, no, I'm not gonna be up all night, but I'm not gonna get much sleep. But yeah, um, so I'm actually going to end this vlog. I'll probably, I'll start a new vlog soon. It's going to be a, my travel, so y'all be able to see that. I'm going to the Dominican Republic. So my best co-resident is getting married to. So just the dress from Hilo Lux, um, drop on Amazon. This is my go-to dress. Like. I probably wear this dress once every two weeks, at least. Then my shoes, uh, La Rude. And hopefully the lining isn't too crazy, but yeah. Something simple. I just got on at my eyebrows, mascara, and that's it. Okay, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And subscribe to my channel if you're not and you want to see more of me. And if you are subscribed, thanks for subscribing. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace and love.